doing pretty good. I'm feeling really good. Uh, welcome to the New Orleans Jazz Museum. I want to thank you for being here on behalf of the New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park. Um, we want to thank you again for coming to our Arrowhead Jazz Band. The mission of our park is to instill an appreciation for New Orleans jazz music. By doing so, we uh, create these programs that invite local musicians to play with us. We like to educate, so we have um, music camps throughout the year. And we also enlighten, so we give history talks during the week at our 419 Decatur location. And the topics vary. We go from history of New Orleans then and now, from drumming to all different sorts of things. So I encourage you to stop by 419 Decatur. But since you're here, I want you to help me welcome up the band. So on drums, we have another ranger, Hunter Miles Davis. <laughs> Phenomenal musician. And he's the only other music park ranger that you're ever gonna find. It's just us, so very, very rare guy. Um, on organ and keys today, we have Joe Ashlar. Yes. I'm so happy about the organ. Oh my, we're gonna have fun today. On the bass, on the low end, we have Mr. Peter Harris, who also wears many, many hats. And you can also find him this evening at the Pontchartrain Hotel that's located on St. Charles Avenue. He does a trio or um, a quartet every, um, I think Tuesday through Friday, so please stop by his show later today. And then we have Miss Saskia Walker, who's our intern, who's been studying the music. And last but surely not least, Mr. Aurelian Barnes on trumpet. Again, since we like to educate and enlighten, uh, Saskia has come up with a wonderful theme for this month of um, Arrowhead Jazz Band. She has come up with this theme of um, songs from movies or musicals, and she'll talk a little bit about it and then get into her music. So give it up for Saskia Walker. We're going to start with the tune, start off strong with a tune that won the Oscar the year that it was composed for the movie State Fair in 1936, and um, it won the Oscar composed by Richard Rodgers and Oscar Hammerstein for best score for, for the original composition for a movie. Um, Thank you. 
this next tune is The Way You Look Tonight and was composed by Jerome Kern, who's a real uh, standalone in this time period in the 40s and 30s of movies being made that then all of these tunes from these movies became jazz standards eventually, so much so that we still play them you know, today, 2022. And um, Jerome Kern, as well as Oscar Hammerstein and Richard Rogers, were really the three um, stars of the time. And he composed this tune with lyrics by Dorothy Field. Now, she was a woman who uh, not many people recognize as factually being one of the women, only black women, to compose lyrics to all of these tunes. Pretty much, if you look up any jazz standards from the 30s and 40s, Dorothy Field has, has, has had her, her pen in there writing, writing the beautiful lyrics. So, um, yeah. Oh, hey. 
and Victor Schertzinger, very different to um, Jer Jerome Kern, the famous Jerome Kern. But this tune was um, placed in the movie Fleets Inn in 1952, I believe. And um, the tune, is a, the Fleets Inn is about traveling sailors um, in war. <laughs> and uh, Tangerine is a character of their of their travels, and um, you'll hear a bunch about her. Um,
Welcome Jade Perdue back up to the stage. Oh my goodness, give it up for Saskia Walker. One more time. Two more times, three more times. Ah, sometimes I forget I have to start singing again and I was just enjoying myself, just being a listener, an observer. Um, with this theme of movies, where are my notes? Right here, good, good. Um, I went to go see the movie called Till this past weekend. Um, it's a story about Emmett Till. If you don't know who Emmett Till, I suggest you read about him. I won't go too uh, in depth into it, but basically Emmett Till was um, was a 14-year-old boy who was from Chicago, traveled to Mississippi, and was uh, just basically beaten, and he, he, he died. He was murdered in, in Mississippi. And so what, um, what his uh, death basically kind of was the catalyst into the civil rights movement. And so usually um, I, I tend to say the song Moaning for Black History Month, but since the movie came out and because I'm black all day, every day, I feel like I don't need to save it for any type of particular month. It should be uh, yeah, celebrated and um, recognized. Black history should be recognized all throughout the year. And so this, this movie, when I, when I watched it, it made me angry. And so um, I'm gonna try to put uh, some of the feelings that I was feeling into this song and hopefully, um, may not leave angry, but hopefully you feel a little bit moved. And I um, came to a realization for myself is that I no longer try to sing for people. I sing for the liberation of myself. I sing to express myself. And if you resonate with it, then you resonate. And if you don't, maybe pass, along, pass it along to somebody else. But I'm gonna do the song called Moaning. And we're gonna do it in C minor. Because C minor is a cool key. Mm -hmm. I know, we just went from tangerine to now something totally different, but that's okay. I like to switch things up a little bit. Did I pass it up? 
<laughs> okay, uh, maybe I don't need to look at it. Okay. Um. I asked him to do something that I didn't ask him to do in rehearsal. But this is like the nice New Orleans rehearsal. And then I'm going to sing it. Yeah, right here. A one, a two, a one. Dun, dun, dun.
Just a little bit. Uh, this next song is titled Caravan. Um, so this song wasn't in, uh, in a movie first and then made it into a standard. Actually, it was uh, written by Duke Ellington and then it later appeared in a movie. So we're like switching it around. It was composed in 1936. And so uh, it's really, it's probably one of the oldest songs or maybe um, getting into out of all the songs that I picked for this set list. And so uh, we're gonna spice it up a little bit. So yeah. Oh, it's 
by Richard Rogers and um, Lorenz Hart came up with the lyrics. One of those um, songs about love and intimacy. So we did a lot of varying messages today, but nonetheless, they came from movies. So I'm going to sit down for this song. For this song, for some reason, I like sitting down with ballads. It feels like I'm telling a story, so I have something to share with y'all. All right. X that out on the recording. That's not on live. That did not happen. <laughs> oh my God, leave it to me. I'll probably break the sound equipment too. Oh my goodness. Okay. This will feature uh, Joe Ashlar on organ. He's been doing a great job. I absolutely adore the organ. It reminds me of church and all things great, and so I'm just so happy that we have it today. I'm just trying to cover up the, the bass hit, that's all. <laughs>
Check what time? What time is it? Can I check the time? Oh, good. We have time for like no questions, so we only got to do one one song left. <laughs> Jade Purdue. All right. So Autumn Leaves is our last song, um, and because it's a nice fall, actually, it's quite buggy outside. I don't know what's going on with the weather, but hopefully this AC is making you feel a little better. Um, any last words about this song that you discovered? Yeah, this mm -hmm. tune also comes from a movie, 1946 French post-realism movie, or poetic realism, um, called The Doors to the Night, in French. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, it's called Le Fille aux Mortes, is the name of the tune, The Dead Leaves. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a lot more somber than the English translation, yeah. the, the, the French version. If you can imagine 1946 black and white movie about poetic realism, 
dark romance. Um, but yeah, it's been a standard ever since then, so we'll, we'll, we'll make it a standard again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's do it. All right. Thank you. 
to Arrowhead Jazz Band, Aurelian Bars on trumpet, B-flat, B-flat trumpet, Joe Ashlar on keys and organ, and Hammond organ, holding it down, Peter Harris on the lower end, <laughs> Hunter Miles Davis on the drums, yes, Saskia Walker on the lovely vocals, yes. And I'm Jay Perdue. Thank you for coming through. Yes, yes. Please visit nps.gov slash jazz for future programs. Also, nolajazzmuseum.org for New Orleans Jazz Museum programs. Also, there's another show at 5 p.m. later today on the balcony. And again, Peter Harris is over at the Pontchartrain Hotel for 7 to 10, I believe. And have fun. Get outside, enjoy this nice muggy weather. And see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>